guys, it's Mom First Love. Um, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been really busy. Um, I've just been, I've had some summer classes that I've been taking and this took up a lot of my time and then I also started releasing for so I've been writing him. Um, but I am back for a Briar Fest haul video. I am actually currently sitting on the floor because I'm always too lazy to set up like a tripod and everything, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Um, okay, so like every year I have all my horses laid out on my bed. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different. Um, I just don't have quite as many models because it's um, Brian Fest is online. But yeah, I guess without further ado, we can get started. I'm going to go in chronological order. Okay, so on the last day of Brian Fest, I actually um, went over to my friend's house. Um, her name's Gabby. Um, she's Gabby Briars on YouTube and Instagram. I'll link it below. Um, but I gave her a horse and then she ended up giving me this, um, Oliver, which I'm really grateful for. I sold mine, um, after Briarfest 2019 and I regretted doing it ever since, so I'm happy to have one again. And she, I also bought this little stable mate, um, from her. It's just a G1 on this mold, on this mold, on the G1 saddlebred mold. Um, and it's a pretty red roan. And why is it not but I'll do close-up shots of them later, but she's really cute. And I am super happy that I was able to purchase her from my friend. Um, so I'm gonna unbox Oliver actually right now and then I'll show you guys what he's like out of box. Okay, so here's Oliver out of box. He is actually like pretty perfect. He doesn't have any like flaws. The only thing is like smudged markings, which for an overproduced model like him, I think is fine. Um, and I'm just so grateful to be able to have this guy, um, and I'm so grateful for, to Gabby for letting me have him. Um, yeah, I think he's gorgeous. Um, I think he's one of the best celebration models Briar has done, in my opinion. He's super cute, and I'm super happy to have him, and I'll get some good pictures of him. Okay, next is um, the celebration horse from this year, this Valley Now. Um, he's really cute, I think, but... Um, I already have my glossy once upon a time on the mold with the loose mane and tail, so um, I don't really want to keep him. So I think um, what I'm gonna do is actually get him customized to be a portrait of my um, horse that I'm leasing. Um, so yeah, I'll insert a picture of the horse and you can let me know if you think it's a good match. I'm either thinking, he's an Oldenburg, so I'm either thinking get him done with this mold or I might buy like an Aperol resin um, and get it commissioned to look like him. But I'm thinking my idea is if I, um, get him done is to get it like get him done and get him customized to have like a, a head like that's more like tucked in on the vertical and then yeah that's about it but um <laughs> yeah so that's I think what's going on with him but I'm keeping in box for now just in case I want to sell him okay next we have the segment collection um because I own the real north star I kind of had to get it for the mini um so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them right now. Okay, honestly, the packaging that came in is so nice, and I've been waiting for such a long time to finally unbox these guys. Um, so I'm really excited. So how does this even work? Okay. They came with a little catalog. Um, so did, so did Oliver, but I didn't include that. Anyways, let's see if I can get these guys out. I don't know if I can do this with one hand without hurting the horses. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so they are all out of their um, box. So I'm just gonna be ranking them all and reviewing them all, like least favorite to favorite. Okay, this is uh, Viaje, who's a mini Viajaro. Um, I do like him, I love the small. The only reason he's least is just because his eyes, like I do like that they tried to do the detailed eyes, but if they did it on him, they should have just done it on all of them. Um, and also, but like, I just think that mine's left eye is a little bit sloppily done. And then like, I think he's got like, I don't know if this is supposed to be here. It's like, do you see on his le right, left hind? It's like that marking right there. I don't understand it. Um, but he's otherwise pretty cute. Um, and I do like him and like his markings are crisp. So like, it's not like, like all of these I think are super well done. I'm just, if I had to least favorite, it'd be him. Um, next is... Durham, who's a mini Carlisle. Carlisle. Um, he's super cute. I actually really like him. Um, I, yeah, like, he's the only one I'm not, like, crazy about, but, like, the rest I love. Um, I think that the dappling is really nice. Um, he's, he's a lot darker than like, Carlisle, I think, but he's super cute. Um, and I'm happy to have him. 
Next is Mini Windswept, who they named Gail. Um, she's so cute. Um, I like, I think this mold is cute. And she has like a nice pearly um, finish, to, or like it's like pearly or metallic to her mane and tail. And the coloring is just really nice. And she has subtle dapples, and her blanket is really crisp. My second favorite would have to be Victoire, the mini K Sarah Sarah. I don't speak French, so just excuse me on that. Um, these markings are so nicely done in this guy. Um, I'm usually like not the biggest fan of this mold, but I really like him. And I'm a sucker for black and white paints since my current lease horse is one, and he is just. This guy's really cute. And then of course my favorite has to be the mini North Star. I'm so glad mine is pretty perfect. His barn or his this guy's name is Kochab. He's really nice and dark and has these subtle dapples and this like silver sheen to his mane and tail. I mean he's really just obviously I have the real one and so he's he's really just like a mini North Star, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm super excited to have him. I really hope that Briar does more of these sets in the future, especially a mini jackpot on the jumping warm blood mold because that would be the cutest thing ever <laughs> like just can we can we just take a moment for how adorable this is oh my god his face is so much darker though he doesn't have the shading on the face that the big guy has but still a very cute together i like them a lot together okay while well, i show you guys photos of these table mates i just wanted to talk about the briar store experience i had these were the only ones i wanted from the store so i um, was able to buy them after waiting. I got them Saturday morning. Um, and then I didn't really want any of the other store specials, but once the Glossy Virgins came out, I pre-ordered both, uh, Glossy Cheesecake and Glossy Benelli, so they will be coming in December, and I'm really excited to have them in Glossy. Since they're in Glossy, I decided to get them. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll be unboxing those for you guys when I get them. Okay, next we have Epona. Um, for my special runs, my first choice was Oak, and then my second choice, or no, my first choice was a surprise, my second choice was Oak, and my third choice was Epona. Um, if I didn't already have a horse in the strapless mold, she would have probably been my second choice above Oak, but I changed really wanted Oak because that mold is so cute, so I'm a little sad I didn't get him. Um, but I ended up getting her in a surprise. So I got the braided version, which is the one I wanted because I already have old Ironsides who's on the loose mane and tail version. I'm not sure which one I actually like better. I like them both quite a bit, but whatevs um so yeah she's got the braided mane and tail and i actually think it looks really really nice um she's flawless except for this scuff that she came with on her hoof you can't even see oh well um but she's so pretty this mold is so underrated and i think this model is so underrated like a dapple gray overo like i i you can't go wrong except for the fact that i'm gonna struggle to find a breed that i like for her especially since i have so many sport horses and i'm talking really fast but i love her she's so cute i think i'm naming her east of eden or eden and she is adorable look at her she's so cute oh my goodness okay um next so it's my surprise model um i actually pulled a mat uh, surprise, I'm at Appaloosa, um, but then someone was just really wanting the Appaloosa and they were willing to trade a glossy for it. Um, because at the time, like, the numbers hadn't come out and I think a lot of people thought the Appaloosa was the most rare and they're actually all equal variations, which is good because I actually thought she was the most common, um, in, like, Matt, but she's my favorite, so I was like, I don't really care, I just want, I just want a glossy red roll because it was my favorite. Um, so yeah, I traded my Matt Appaloosa for her, um, and then, why is it not focusing on her? And then I also, I ended up trading uh, an Aglossi Integrity for a Glossy Appaloosa, but I traded that for the next horse that you'll see. But yeah, um, she is stunning. I really adore her. I think the coloring and the roaning is so nice and her markings are really crisp. I love her. She's probably my favorite Briarfest obtained, a uh, horse I obtained from Briarfest. Um, I'm so glad they did another mare, mare surprise, but I do have some thoughts about the increase in glossy quantities and the fact that there's only four variations. I would rather there be like, in a perfect world, there'd be like six variations and then a decorator and like six variations of each, like of glossy and that, and the quantities would like stay the same so that the value of these glossy surprise models wouldn't keep going down. Thank you very much. Okay, um, that's all. But then I did trade my Glossy Appaloosa for this resin. Um, this is a flint resin sculpted and painted by Chris Flint. He was sculpted in 2012 and painted in 2015. He just came in today. I was waiting on him to do this video. Um, but yeah, I will do detailed photos of them. But my camera is about to die, so um, I just have to charge it. But yeah, he's cute. He has hair by hair. 
detailing. I don't know, I really like his tail. This is signature. Hey Flint. I don't have any stock horse resins. Um, I never have except for my Levi. He's currently out getting painted. So I think they'll be buds. They look good together. Um, so yeah, I've had like four pieces by Chris Flint, um, but I traded one and sold another, but I'm happy to have this guy now. I really like her work. It was just like the first one, the one that I sold, I just wasn't as much of a fan of the sculpt. And then the second one I traded because I just would have rather had the OF model that I traded for, but um, he's so cute and I really like him. He's so chunky. Um, I don't have a name for him yet. And yeah, like I said, so her name is um, gonna, I think, be Gaia. This is gonna be East of Eden. I think his name is gonna be Manhattan, and then the rest don't have names. So yeah, that's my haul. I'm need to. Uh, I'm gonna insert pictures like during this, um, but I need to charge my camera because it's about to die. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll post new videos soon. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please don't let my channel die. I know I've been posting. Okay, bye.